I can finally be alone. It's a beautiful day today. I think I can relax. My name is Shinji Yamabuki, and I'm a senior in high school. I don't have any friends, and I'm an introvert, so having lunch at school is a nightmare for me. I usually go to the rooftop where I can eat alone and relax. <laughs> huh? Is that someone crying on the roof? Who could it be? <laughs> What's... Uh, Yuko? What's wrong? Uh, oh, Shinji? Her name is Yuko Hayashi. She was kind and cheerful and the most popular Gyaru in my class. But that day, I found her crying on the roof. What's wrong? I'm willing to listen to your problem if you'll share it with me. My mom and my dad both just called me to tell me that they're getting a divorce. They told me in a very roundabout way that it'd be difficult for them to remarry with me in the picture. So, they're both disowning me. Uh. I noticed they weren't talking to each other at home. I knew something was wrong. It sounds like they're both in love with someone else and they're having trouble deciding who should keep taking care of me. It sounds like neither of them wants me, right? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Would you like some of my lunch? It sounds like you haven't eaten yet. Yeah, but are you sure? I can't guarantee it tastes very good. I made it myself. What? You can cook? My mom's usually busy with work, so I help her with the housework. We're a single parent family, so I try to reduce the burden on her. You're so kind, Shinji. That's not true. It's just normal life for me. Then I'll try a little bit. Mmm, delicious! Fried eggs, boiled pumpkin, fried chicken, spinach with bonito flakes, and cherry tomatoes! The colors are amazing! If it makes you that happy, you can eat it all. But that means that you won't have anything to eat for lunch. I'll just eat half of it. <laughs> Forget about me. You can eat it all. I'm sure crying has made you very hungry. Shinji, you're so kind. Thank you so much, but I'm only gonna eat half. My mom isn't much of a cook. It's been a long time since I've had such a delicious meal. I wonder what will happen to me now. It's gonna be hard to go home. Then, why don't you come to my house today? What? I mean, only if it's what you want. I don't think you should be obliged to go home if you don't wanna. Are you sure? Won't your mother be angry at me? If you tell her what's happening to you, I'm sure she'll understand. Thank you, Shinji. Whoa! <laughs> then I can come home with you today. Of course. Yay, thank you so much. After school, Yuko and I headed home to my house together. I feel like people are staring at us. They're probably wondering why we're walking together. Why? Because it's strange for a beautiful, cute, popular Gyaru like you to be walking with a lonely introvert like me. That's not true. You're kind and cool. I'm... cool? You do look a little dorky, though. <sighs> I'm sorry, but you have such a cool heart. No one has ever been this kind to me before. Anyone would be worried if they found you sobbing on the roof like that. I'm sure a lot of people have ulterior motives and are only nice to me because I look the way I do. Everyone must think I'm an airhead. I know what real kindness is, though. You reached out to me because you were worried about me. Thank you! <laughs> Shinji! Mom! Oh my goodness! Well, you're with such a pretty girl! Are you returning from a date? No! We're not in a relationship in that way! Oh no? Too bad. Nice to meet you. My name is Yuko Hayashi. Mom, would it be alright if Yuko stayed over tonight? There are circumstances that make it difficult for her to go home today. What circumstances? Uh, that's... Uh, um, 
I'll give you a proper explanation. It'd be dishonest of me to visit your home and not explain why. So, if it's okay with you, could I stay over just for tonight? I see. Is one day enough? What? It pains me to speak ill of your parents. But do you want to go home to a mother and father who put their own selfish love before their child's happiness? That's... Parents are human beings too, and I understand that everyone makes mistakes, but I don't think it's right to force that on your children. I've been careful to not impose my feelings on Shinji. Hey, Yuko. This is all very sudden, but... Would you like to become a member of our family? What? Mom? What you talking about? I've always wanted a daughter. Whenever I cook or bake, I wish I had a daughter so that I could share the fun with her. And then I see mothers shopping with their daughters. I envy them. Shinji is a lovely boy, but I can't be close to him in the same way that I could to a daughter. I was born a boy. It was completely out of my control. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. Dang it, don't be silly. I'm not joking, I'm serious. If your parents don't want a cute little daughter, then I would love to have you. I'm not asking you to feel like you're my daughter right away. We can start slowly, get to know each other as friends. <sighs> I've just always wanted a daughter in my life. Um, are you sure you want to do this? Am I not trash? Should I have never even been born? Of course you're not trash! And there's no such thing as a child that shouldn't have been born. Yuko, it's okay. It's okay. You're not an unwanted child. <laughs> I'm sorry. I... There's no need to rush your answer. Just come home with us and take it easy for today. I accept. I want to join your family. Uh? What? Are you sure? I feel like I'm just in the way of my family. I don't want to be forced to stay with someone who doesn't want me. You don't want me to join your family, Shinji? Th th no, that's not true. I'm very happy. Then it's decided. Let's do it. We'll start the formalities tomorrow. Today we celebrate. Let's order sushi and pizza. Shinji, go buy us some juice. Okay, Mom. If you say so. <laughs> And so, the crazy day ended. My mother was always a fast-moving person, but in that situation, she was faster than ever. She visited Yuko's family and spoke to her parents who readily agreed to let us take her in. It all happened so fast. I knew that it upset Yuko even more. We became a family and I got a stepsister. Since we're a family now, I'll start calling you brother. <laughs> That's kinda embarrassing. <laughs> Now it's your turn, Shinji. Let's see. Sis! Oh, I feel so embarrassed. Since you're two months older than me, maybe I should call you Big Brother. No, that's even more embarrassing. We're the same age. Don't call me Big Brother. It's nice to finally have another girl in the house. From now on, the three of us will live together happily. By the way, what do you plan on doing after graduation, Yuko? I'm going to college. I'm thinking of getting a job, but I'm also thinking of maybe trying something else first. I'll let you know how it works out. What? What is it? It's a secret for now. Three years later, I'm living my college life, but Yuko's doing something different. The year we adopted her, she auditioned to be an idol and was accepted. She worked her way up through the ranks, and this year, she earned the center position. It was a big announcement, and all her fans were very excited. We had a party as a family to congratulate Yuko on her achievement of earning the center position. Cheers! Congratulations! Congratulations, sis! Thank you, both of you! I know you've been practicing hard. I used to hear you singing in the bathroom every day. I can even remember the songs you used to sing. Wow, I'm so embarrassed. You're becoming more popular every day. Even if I become popular, I'm still your cute and adorable little sister. Yeah, yeah. Your reactions are so crude. Huh? Who could it be at this hour? I'll go check. 
Please leave. Yuko, you're amazing. Come on, come back to our family. That's right. You're our child, aren't you? You abandoned me. No, that was a misunderstanding. That's right. We're your real parents. Let's start over. What you doing showing up here uninvited? You can't start over. I already have a new family. She's the only real mother I've ever had. You, you, you ungrateful, ungrateful wretch. wretch. What you saying? Why are you acting like your parents now? You selfishly hurt her feelings when you said you didn't want her around because she was hurting your chances of getting remarried. You might indeed be the people who gave birth to her. But you went on to tell her that you didn't want her. You're not good parents. Yuko is now my beautiful daughter. She chose to stay with us. If you make any more noise, I'll call the police. Now get out of here! Ugh, dang it! Uh, thank you both. You're my lovely daughter now. I couldn't let them take my pretty little sister. I love you both. The sudden storm passed as quickly as it had come. Later... I didn't know about this for a long time, but a relative of mine told me that my parents are both heavily in debt. They owe a lot of money. My father was laid off from his job, and his second wife ran away from him. He was so stressed that he turned to drinking and gambling. My mother found out that she owed money to her second husband and is being forced to pay it back. Maybe I should do something to help him. They're my parents, after all. If that's what you want to do, I won't stop you. But I'm sorry to say this, but the way they're acting, they're probably going to keep asking you for money for the rest of your life. Yuko is well on her way to becoming a very successful idol, and the three of us continue to live together in harmony. But things are slowly changing. Shinji, don't you have a girlfriend? What? That was out of the blue. If you don't have one, Maybe I could be your girlfriend. I'm pretty sure we can get married if we're only step-siblings. Whoa! What the heck? Get off me! I'm just kidding. Please, don't tease me anymore. Actually, I'm not kidding. What? <laughs> Maybe my relationship with Yuko won't end with us being just step-siblings. It looks like the decision is mine to make.